Well, welcome back here with us today for our weekly medical interview. We have Dr. Jack Ramage with New Hanover Gastroenterology. Today, he's going to talk to us more about upcoming and taking steps for Crohn's and the colitis walk that's actually coming up in the next couple of weeks. Doctor? Good morning. Good Welcome. morning. I appreciate it. So give us a little bit of background of what, what, what we'll be talking about. Okay. Well, Crohn's and ulcerative colitis are two types of inflammatory bowel disease. These are irritations of the GI tract. Ulcerative colitis primarily affects the colon. Crohn's can affect any part of the GI tract. And these are uh, lifelong diseases caused by an overactive immune system. If you're at home and you think, you know, I, I've got something that's not quite right. What are the symptoms that people at home might lead them to come visit you to, t to talk about something like okay. this? Both diseases are typically associated with diarrhea, urgency to have bowel movements, bleeding, low blood count or anemia, um, sometimes even constipation or weight loss. Um, the, generally, the symptoms come and go over time but uh, can be persistent without treatment. What age groups are we talking about? Is this something that you can see in, in young adults or is it something that can start as, as early as childhood? Yeah, the main age group of diagnosis is young adults in age 15 to 35 years, but there's another peak later in life after age 50, um, and it, but they can occur at any time. I know my grandfather had colitis, but his came on at a very later mm -hmm. stage of his life. Is that atypical for this disease? No, that's actually, it's, it's usually either young, you know, young age, young adults, or elderly, you know, after age 50, 60. And the prognosis for this, I know, again, through my grandfather, I know this is a treatable condition. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not curable, but it's very treatable and controlled with medication. So, um, as we mentioned, it's typically caused by an overactive immune system. So, for milder disease, the medicines actually work topically to decrease inflammation. For more severe disease, the medicines can be IV or, or shots, and they actually decrease the immune system function. If patients don't respond to medication, um, sometimes, or they have complications of the disease, such as bowel obstruction, surgery can be required. Are there, I know you, you, you talked about a little bit of family history and things like this, but is there, is there a link to this as far as is it diet, or is it a completely a hereditary issue? It's a, it's a mixture. So generally, patients have uh, genetic predisposition, so a family history plays a role. Sometimes it occurs spontaneously, but usually that's not enough. There's some kind of exposure in the environment that triggers the immune system to set it off and become uh, overactive where it attacks the intestine. And I always end these segments with saying, obviously, if you have any questions or think that you have something that may lead you to, 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 to seek medical help, always, always consult your physician before doing anything on your own. Doctor, yes, I appreciate sir. the time. Thank you Thank very you. much.